Mike Hopkins given some good news that the power checkouts for the Bartolomeo platform and the three of four jumpers he was able to connect today went well. Victor Glover just being informed that uh, the thermal cover stiffener task is deemed complete. Mike Hopkins, the view here from his spacesuit and the high definition camera is now on his way to work on the ham radio reconfiguration. Coax and sensitive to bending loads. Okay, I copy that. Thank you. I am at the work site. All right, if you need to, you can store your crew lock bag, and otherwise you'll be working to demate the antenna P2 from the APCU J2. Roger that. I am going to install this crew lock bag. Five hours and 10 minutes into today's spacewalk, you just got a glimpse of Earth, specifically the South Pacific Ocean from Victor Glover's helmet camera. International Space Station flying 266 statute miles above us all. You have a go to demate P02 from J02. Mike Hopkins has now begun the ham radio reconfiguration task. He will demate two plugs. BMI band. On both sides. Copy. You can now demate the Eris P02 from the antenna J02. And these may have to uh, uninstall both one on this stiffener. The, the red is between the fabric and the plate. The hook itself, it's, yeah, if you can see it in WBS, it's easier to see it than for me to describe what's going on, but I can't get it off. Yeah, we see that. Uninstall one. It'll give me enough room to get out of there. And uh, I know what you're thinking. That's not the reason they didn't go to torque. That is a long way from 11 turns. It's going to be the same amount of turns when we reinstall it. Yeah, we. The other bolts either. We agree, and uh, we're good okay. with your plan to release one of the bolts. Release one of the bolts. Okay, give me a settings, please. 
Alpha 2, counter 2. The Alpha 2, counter 2. Alpha 2, counterclockwise 2, 6. One. Okay, J zero two. And the antenna is there, he made it. No fog gets in, duty in my bin. Copy. In just a second. Roger. All right, Hopper, uh, if you can grab the camera and take pictures of the Aris P02, the antenna P02, the antenna J02, and the APCU J02, we'd appreciate it. Teamwork. You need a bolt that uh, came apart, hung out, and the washers have uh, separated. It kind of went all directions, and the bolt went straight. Yeah, we see that. There's a washer right at the top of your help, uh, camera view. Now it's out of the view. I think the bolt, I can see it going straight, Nader. Bolt going straight, Nader. All right, Ike, no issue. Uh, we're still good with the number of bolts installed, so uh, if you can free the, the, the RET, then uh, we'll still call this task complete. It's in work. Sorry about that. No, no, that's uh, not your fault. The bolt shouldn't have come apart. No, I can get another bolt like that, I'll install it, <laughs> and the RET is released. Copy. Me, Kate, Shannon, or Suichi can run to the store real quick. Yeah. Okay, no bolt in there, but it's back, uh, the thermal cover over the tube, and I had to use that, uh, this, uh, I don't know what the heck this thing is called, long pokey thing I got out of the uh, TV bag. Uh, yeah, I think we call that the probe. The probe. There you go. I had to use the probe. Works like a champ. Ike, we're just talking about that uh, lanyard with uh, a washer on it that's still attached if we need to do something about it. Copy. Yep. What you talking about? While you're talking, can I go put this uh, probe back in the thing bag? Yeah, you can put the probe back in the staging bag.
Okay, Andy, photos are complete. Excellent, good news. So now you can mate the ARIS P02 to the APCU panel J02. Okay, so the ARIS P02, I don't see a label on it, but it's definitely the... Yeah, it's it's the cable with the only one cable. end. That's right. The other has a Y, right. the, the Y end, and that you cap both right. of the Ys. Okay. And Hopper, if uh, you need further confirmation on the ARIS cable that you're mating, there should be a label that says HMU-895. Yeah, I've got the right cable. I mean, the other one's the Y, so. Yeah, exactly. I figured that was a better description. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'm soft back. Over center. Copy. So next you can grab two of the uh, size 25 caps from the crew lock bag and uh, cap the ends of the Y cable. That's it. And those, um, oh, so I've got a, uh, integral rep that's going to an adjustable that's attached to a wire tie caddy. Like it's got three smalls and six longs, and then that's also attached to a connector cleaner tool. Copy hopper, so we adjustable. We just had a handover, so I got a, an integral rep with an adjustable to a connector cleaner and a wire tie caddy. Yep, that's the first part. And I've got an integral rep to a GoPro, and then I've got the uh, camera that's attached to its own rep. That's one side of the bag, so I'm going to close that side up. That's all right. Okay, 
this high definition video coming from the spacesuit of Mike Hop Mike Hopkins, today's EV2 or spacewalker number two. He is working to reconfigure the ham radio. Andy, what size uh, size on the HMU 601? It's just a standard 25. No, no tape on them. Okay. Roger. Okay, two plugs are installed. Copy. And you ready for an inventory on this side? I am. Okay, there's an integral. That's got a trash bag. There's three wire ties in that trash bag. There's a red small small, the broom tool, a red small small to the pin straightener, and an integral red to the cap caddy. Now one, two, three, four, five. Five caps on it. And then on the outside you've got the large small adjustable. Excellent. That's a good bag inventory. You can uh, put that on your uh, BRT, and um, I think at this point we'll take a, a quick discussion with you about the forward tasks. Okay. And one additional thing for you, Hopper, we'd uh, like the uh, ends of those of that uh, Y cable restrained with a wire tie to a handrail, please. Yeah, that makes sense. The only other thing I want to talk to you about, I don't know if you can see you know, the bend radius of this uh, earth antenna cable coming in. Are you able to see that in the HECA? Are you guys happy with that? Yeah, we see it, Hopper. Just a second. Okay. All right, uh, once you've closed the crew lock bag, let's uh, get you uh, working on tying off the end of the uh, Bartolomeo cable, okay. and then uh, if we need to do anything about that uh, bend radius, we'll let you know. So, Ike, it looks like you already have the CP8 and CP9 cable reel bags outside the airlock. Is that right? Correct. All right. Well, you read our minds. Um, what we suggest going forward, we're about five and a half hours PET, so we suggest um, not doing the Bartolomeo cable clamps, but then getting both of you working on the uh, CP9 and CP8 cable routing. So Ike, you'll be working CP9, and uh, Hopper, you'll be working CP8 if you agree. Well, maybe. For super. Excellent. Uh, looking at the time, there's a good chance we won't finish the CP8 cable routing, and so we'll likely have to tie down the bag somewhere along the way. Roger. Copy that.
All right, Ike, so you can go ahead and get started with CP9, and uh, we'll need you to take the Nader path below lab uh, over to the uh, rat's nest port side. All right, we'll do. As Mike Hopkins continues reconfiguring the ham radio outside the space station, Victor Glover is going to begin some cable routing procedures scheduled for the spacewalk. We are now almost five and a half hours since the spacewalkers turned their suits onto internal battery power this morning.